you like my hat then? I'm back down by the apple tree. Uh, you might have seen part one of the video where I sawed up uh, part of the uh, fallen oak apple tree with a little chainsaw. Well I'm back down here today with a bigger chainsaw. I I've uh, taken a few branches and more branches off it and now I've got really this sort of trunk bit to do. So we'll just have a quick look at that now. It's just behind me. Here we go then. So you can see there I've taken off most of the top of the tree. A lot of that just end up on a bonfire. And now we're left with just the trunk really branch uh, and the bigger branches so I'm hoping just to log this up into pieces um, I could put it into lengths through the saw bench but they're getting so massive that I don't really want to have to carry these again in fact even these are going to make massive logs and they'll have to be cut down or split or something at some point well I've got a bigger chainsaw here there's still 39 it's bigger than the one I was using before <sighs> covers on it quite old again both our chains was probably 25 years old so uh, it's still going strong but um, getting on a bit so anyway I'm gonna make a start on this now
Whew. Well, you can see there I've got the sort of branches off now. All the quite a bit of the main wood off. I've just got the trunk left, which is pretty thick and it's now on the ground. I, I, I realised afterwards before I I chopped the end bit off there. I should have put a piece of wood underneath just to uh, keep it up off the ground. So um, that's going to be a bit of an issue. But uh, I'm going to keep going with this big chainsaw. It does do a lovely cut actually. It's got quite a new um, chain on it, so it's cutting really well. It's a problem you get an old blunt chainsaw blade. You're absolutely hopeless, really. Um, I know some of you watching this probably professional chainsaws and stuff, so I do apologise if I. I'm not doing it right, the right stance and all the kind of stuff, but you've probably seen from my videos, I'm doing one thing after another. I'm servicing a tractor or chainsawing a tree or milking a cow or, you know, loading a round bell. I'm just a bit of a jack of all trades, really, not a master of any of them, but um, that's the nature of farming, really, isn't it? You know, you have a go at everything because you have to pay someone to do everything, you, you'd be bankrupt. So, anyway, let's crack on with this one now. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll film of this because you, you could just end up seeing a lot of bits of wood being cut, it'd be a bit boring, but we'll have a go. 